Hello, this is Dr. Karthik from MedLife. Uh, today we will understand what are the common blood tests a doctor will advise uh, to actually detect and uh, hence manage type 1 diabetes. As all of us know, there are two major types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes, where the beta cells of the pancreas have almost lost their entire function. The pancreas have lost almost their entire capacity to make any insulin. And hence, the only treatment available to manage type 1 diabetes of a patient is to give insulin from outside. So, type 1 diabetes cannot be managed with the regular tablets that patients use which is typically used in type 2 diabetes. So in type 1, it's only insulin that needs to be given as an injection uh, to manage that condition. So what are the blood tests that uh, doctors generally advise uh, to detect and hence manage type 1 diabetes? Of course, the first one, the simplest test is what we call as fasting blood sugar. The patient would have fasted overnight and uh, you take the fasting capillary blood sample and uh, the fasting blood sugar, if it were to be, is always considered to be normal if it is less than 100 milligram per deciliter. So naturally in type 1 diabetes patients, the fasting blood sugar can be extremely high, much above the normal limits. And uh, the second test the doctor would advise is uh, the HbA1c or the hemoglobin A1c or glycosylated hemoglobin test. Typically, this is a test that is done once in three months. This test is very important because it tells us about the average blood sugar level over a three months duration. The normal level of HbA1c should be less than six. Four to six is considered to be a normal level and a well-controlled level in a normal individual. Any level which is between 6 to 7 is considered as pre-diabetes and the moment the HbA1c is above 7, it is a diagnosis of a patient having diabetes. So every diabetes patient should target to keep their HbA1c as close to 7 as possible without developing the symptoms of hypoglycemia, avoiding the risk of hypoglycemia. So HbA1c of 7 is what every diabetes patient should maintain. So fasting blood sugar in type 1 diabetes, HbA1c in type 1 diabetes. The third thing is something called as a C-peptide test. The amount of C-peptide which is available in the blood is exactly commensurate to the uh, level of insulin in the blood. So patients with type 1 diabetes have abnormally low levels of insulin and hence you'll also see a very low level of C-peptide or almost a non-existent C-peptide in the blood which is also indicative of type 1 diabetes. Another common test indicated in type 1 is what we call as the GAD antibodies uh, test. So this detects antibodies that the body develops uh, which actually have an abnormal effect on the insulin function and also antibodies against the beta cell of the pancreas as well uh, which actually restricts the functioning of beta cell and hence the pancreas is unable to perform and unable to secrete the normal level of uh, uh, insulin. Next, we also look for pancreatic uh, cytoplasmic antibodies against the beta cells as well. That is another uh, one of the tests that is uh, commonly performed. And hence, uh, type 1 diabetes patients should basically make sure that they manage their blood sugar level well by taking insulin on time and by taking the right quantities of insulin. So insulin is the only uh, line of treatment that uh, is advised for type 1 diabetes patients. So this is a quick overview of the type of blood tests that doctors advise to detect and manage type 1 diabetes. There may be two other tests that doctors may recommend in uh, type 1 diabetes patients sometimes. Uh, the first one is called as insulin antibody test. So where you detect if there is an antibody uh, that is developed against the body's own insulin. So therefore this uh, restricts the function of insulin in the body and this is also one of the tests that uh, is recommended by doctors in type 1 diabetes. The second one is called as the insulinoma associated antibody test in which there are certain antibodies developed in the body against the beta cell in the pancreas. So therefore these are two additional tests the doctor may perform. So insulin autoantibodies and insulinoma associated autoantibody test. Uh, these two tests may be recommended by the doctor in uh, patients suspected to have type 1 diabetes. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and look forward to more such videos.